Welcome to Third Eye Champagne. I am Kirsten Langston. Let's just talk a little bit about what's happening in my life right now. It's hot as shit, which is why I'm not wearing fucking eyelashes because it's too fucking hot for eyelashes. So I'm, I'm not feeling my shit quite as much as I could be. Let's be real. Sometimes we have off days. Welcome to another episode of Ask a Psychic. What do we have today? I don't know. I gotta check my phone. The first question is, did I ever have a reading that I regretted? And you know what? Once again, I didn't write anybody's name down, so I suck for that. But okay, regrets. There's one. It still haunts me. Do you know what still haunts me? This happened in 2013. And it's never really happened to me like this ever. Not since and never before. It's the only time this has ever really happened. But I had a flash on someone that I consider a very dear friend. But it's one of those friends that you don't see that much you don't talk to that often but you're like oh no like you're you're in my tribe like you're my jam let me just say this i truly believe that this person's life is in danger i saw i saw them collapsing and i knew that it was really really bad but i didn't want to jump the gun so i consulted another well i consulted linda g so i called her up i gave her the person's first name that's it and i said just tell me if you see anything and she saw the same damn thing i did so then i freaked out anyway i ended up giving this person a reading and I was so petrified, number one, by the veracity of what I had seen. It was, it was, I mean, the flash, the vision, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It was like, I've, I've honestly, I've had flashes since then, but not like that. This was like, I can't move and, and it's so vivid and so real. It frightened me. So I was frightened by that. I was, um had never given this person a reading before and I was frightened by that. I remember I was very anxious and I was terrified. And I have always felt like I flubbed that reading. I felt like I, my delivery was shit. I felt like I scared the shit out of this person. I know I did. And I mean, it's over and done with now, but that I've always, that's like the one reading that sticks out where I'm like, damn it, girl. So what ended up happening is um, the situation that I saw it happened, but it happened to somebody else and, and to such a lesser degree that I was like, okay, this is fine. This is like better that than what I saw. Better that with this person than what I saw with you. I thought for sure, like, this person's going to die. I do regret the way I handled it. It was, it was just kind of a shit show from beginning to end. <sighs> Next question. Have I ever for somebody famous? None of your beeswax. All my clients are completely confidential. I ain't telling. My most dramatic reading. I'm going along, I'm doing the reading, and it was one of the parties that I do. And I'm trying to like keep it light because we're at a party. You don't want to send somebody out the room crying when you're doing a party. I'm doing the reading and I was like, so listen. Basically, if so and so shows up at your house. I don't want you I don't want you to let this person in the house. I want you to just immediately call the police. So and so showed up to the house. I got a phone call and the person I read for was like, You're not gonna believe what happened. You're not thank God I listened to you. I just called the police. I didn't even think about it. Kirsten told me to call the police. I called the police. The person I read for was like, You saved my life. I'm like, okay, let's not go that far. Let's not go that far, but let's just say we avoided something gnarly. Next question. Have I ever been wrong? Yeah, of course I've been wrong. I I like to think that I'm not wrong very often, but of course we are, we're, we're human. We're not infallible. You're never gonna be right all the time. You're never going to be, even some of the stuff that I'm right on, you know, a lot of times it's not 100%. A lot of times I'll say, oh, you know, I see this, this, and this, and you know, I see it happening around a Christmas tree and they're like, okay, well it all happened, but it happened on 4th of July. There are people that are difficult to read and usually when I'm doing the reading, I'll say, look, you're really hard for me to read. So if you feel like you're not getting your money's worth, let me know, we'll cancel, like we'll be done. One of the things that I, okay, a reading that I did that I'm really glad I was wrong about. So I was reading for an, a friend of mine and um, this person's one of my favorite people and we were both a little bit drunk or a lot drunk. <laughs> We were partying and I did this reading and I said, you're going to get pregnant. And she was like, at the time she was like, you're an idiot. I'm not even, I'm not looking for that. I'm not seeing anybody. I'm not with anybody. No. 
And I said, no, listen, you're going to get pregnant. And, but I said, I think you're going to lose the baby. And I'd like, I was so drunk. Usually I would, you know, pat it real nice, make it sound pretty nice. But I just blurted it out. And I was like, I see all this blood. I see so much blood. I see so much blood. I'm, I'm so sorry. I think you're going to lose the baby. I think you're going to lose the baby. Okay. So two years later, two years, she gets pregnant. And I think she had forgotten about the reading because we were both, like I said, we were both pretty drunk, but I hadn't. And I was like, oh shit, oh shit. So the whole time this woman is pregnant, I'm just like, fingers crossed, please don't lose this baby. Well, what ended up happening is she got a C-section and that's why I saw the vision with the blood. But I couldn't differentiate. I saw the, the event correctly. I saw a baby, I saw blood. But my thinking mind jumped in and tried to interpret, oh, baby blood, okay, you're going to lose it. Or, you know, there's something very wrong happening. Nope, she just had a C-section and she did say there was like a ton of blood. That's it. That's another fabulous episode of Ask on T. All right, my darlings. If you want to hook up with me, if you want to see on T, you're going to find all the good stuff in the box. Yes, give me a thumbs up. I love those. You can subscribe to my channel. I love that too. If you want to become a patron, do it. Do it because... We are giving away freebies. All right, my darlings, I do love you. I do adore you. I hope you find this interesting. And, you know, if you don't, you don't. Whatever. Say goodbye to Auntie.